everyone. It's Rita here, and uh, thank you for coming by my channel today. I am, um, I have finished the, um, For the Love of Reedy junk journal, and I'm going to do a flip through, and I'll probably do that later. Um, my granddaughter's coming uh, from school, and I'm going to run out of time. So, but I did want to do this little quick one before um, I do that, because I don't know when I'm going to put it up. Um, so you can see it. Okay, so this was, remember the little um, Christmas cards that I took and I covered um, that Christmas card and I glued another set on here. Then I had this um, envelope that I was able to cover that and use that as a flip. Then I had these page, this page left over from the kit and um, I decided to uh, put that in as a flip like this uh, and then inside of here there's journaling space okay then I covered this and this up here we have a pocket up here that I need to put something in another flip over here a little pocket and this is journaling uh, space here um, so um, I have this pocket on the back and on this side I've got so many things that I have to um, fill up. One thing I want to tell you, if you decide to do this, um, I would, because we're going to fill in this with stuff, I think I would, um, do like an eighth of an inch spine on this side and on this side of your card. You know, when you put your two cards together, I would make a, a spine, um, I can't do it now. I can't get the paper to, I mean, I, I try to get it to crease and it is just too difficult. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is. This is um, a little thing to go along with the uh, journal that I made, the reading journal. Okay, so here I'm gonna put a pocket here and I found this in the dictionary, it says limited edition. And I'm just gonna quickly show you if you don't know how to make these type of pockets. First of all, you gotta figure out what size you want to go inside your page. And what I do is, you know, I eyeball it. And what word you might want uh, to show up. So let me, I was gonna sew this, but I thought I'd wait because I have another thing that I kinda wanna do. All right, so if I rip it here, and this works for any size book page that you want uh, to use. Uh, you don't have to. Now see, this one is so wide that I'm gonna lose, you know, some of the writing on this side. That's okay, because, you know, it'll be decorated. Okay, so then, um, let me remember how to do this. So the words that you want to be facing up, um, you need to take your page and fold it up this way. However deep, see this is too big, but we're gonna cut off some of that. This is too deep, this this pocket for this book. So I'm just gonna bring it down to about right here. But the main thing is, you know, if you want something to show up here, you and you want it to be written going, you know, up so you can read it. Now, if you don't have anything up there, you can just, fold this down and make another uh, so your pocket edge will be stronger. Okay, so then what I do is I just take it and fold it down in the back. So here's the part that's gonna be folded down. Now this is gonna be upside down, but it's not very much of it, okay? So then I just take a little of whatever's left over, if there is any, or you can actually just leave this if you'd like for more uh, stability. Um, I think I'll just kind of glue this down while I've got it here. Just doesn't have to really be glued, but sometimes I think the glue helps the strength. Okay, now if you're gonna leave it open here, um, I mean, uh, with the top edge of the um, book page up. Let me find another book page. Like here's another one. So you could fold this down and you wouldn't have to worry about getting the extra strength. But if you don't feel like you have enough strength, 
then just take the piece of the book page that you ripped off or coffee dyed paper, uh, whatever you, let me take this off, off of there, whatever you want to use and give this a little more stability. So I just put it right up next to the top. Okay. That, um, it will, it will, you know, kind of make that stronger there. So now this will fit in this book. And then you um, decorate it however you want. So this is the one I want because I want it to say limited edition up there because this is the reading journal. Now you can glue this, um, this here to make your pocket and then you can glue back here to make a second pocket. I know there's a lot of different ways to make um, book page pockets, but this I like this one. And then you can collage it. You could do all kinds of stuff. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I um, I'm gonna set this aside. So this is the basic pocket. Okay, you can sew along here if you'd like around it. Um, you could actually sew across that way too because that would hold that flap down. Uh, then when this glue, your glue is pretty dry, you can try and punch it. Let's we'll see what happens. Um, five inches, so two and a half. Right there above that eight. Because book page, oh, there we go. It worked. Book page doesn't like to, um, that's not really quite in the center. It's okay. <laughs> book page doesn't like to get punched. All right, so I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna decorate it in a minute. But before I do that, so I, I couldn't think of things um, to do, to put in this book. I was like, oh, what am I gonna put in there? So I thought, I'm gonna go um, to my YouTube, um, subscribe, the people that I subscribe to, my friends out there in the YouTube world. And I'm gonna pick something and I'm gonna make it. And I don't care who it is or what they're making. So I was like scrolling down and um, looking at the screen and I came across uh, Tatted Treasures and it said folded, I think envelope or folded, I forgot. I'll have to tell you what it is when I remember. Um, so this is how you'd make it. Now, this is all for journaling, and this is gonna fit in our envelope eventually, okay? But now, I on this one, I used just regular um, eight and a half by 11 paper, and I cut it down to six inches, okay? But if you have scrapbook paper, and I just happen to have a piece, um, you can use scrapbook paper. Cut it in half, and you've got two six by six pieces by 12 inches long. This is only 11 and a half inches long, so it's a little bit smaller. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, let me move this out of the way, is you're gonna fold this end over an inch or so, and it doesn't have to be exact. Let's see if I did that. Yep, there's one inch. Okay, and this is not my bone folder, but it'll do. All right, then you're gonna take the other end of it and you're going to go over um you want to have enough to go under here so originally um tanya did a half inch or i mean half of this so it would have been like a half inch over and it was really difficult for her to get it slide to slide in because this piece has got to slide in here and so she cut hers down, and so I'm just gonna do mine less right now. So I'm gonna say a quarter of an inch uh, overlap. And then we fold it here, okay? Then, this doesn't come to the front, it goes to the back. And we're going to just fold this. Hopefully I can remember how everything is done. I'm just going to fold this like that. I don't think I've seen anybody do this. Well, um, it was a shabby-dabby doodah challenge that she did. 
Okay, so now when we open it, we've got all this space for uh, journal, journal writing. Okay, so the next step is we want to make this slide in like a little envelope. So you take this and fold it this way uh, in half without creasing. And you're going to cut a little angle here. And um, I had made mine bigger the first time. I didn't really care for it. So I'm going to oh, maybe go down like a half inch on this this corner. Okay. Uh, you can use your corner uh, thingies if you want. If you're worried about a crease. Okay. So now this goes like that. And this goes like that. And then it's still... Oh, I cut the wrong end. Oh my goodness, I did it wrong. Darn it. I'm sorry. Let me get back to that part. Let me do one inch. Oh gosh. That's why I have two of everything. No, I don't. But I can't believe it because I had to rewatch it because I didn't do it right the first time. All right, then we're folding it back again lining this all up and if this doesn't line up perfectly on the top and the bottom you can trim it to, to make sure it does okie dokie now this is the end that we're going to uh that we're going to cut the corners off oh i'm sorry i just messed up there so the other end not the end where the one inch flap is okay this end. Now we can fold it all back up again. And there we go. Now this little part here will slide right into that. Okay. Now I don't really like that. I haven't um, inked any of this. So let me get a little bit of, because I don't want to glue it down and I can't ink it. Oh, so I hope everybody's doing well. I have been, I don't know where the days have gone between my mom and my grandchildren this week and um, just, just stuff, you know? And um, So I, w I just wanted to get that reading journal done, and I finally did, but oh my goodness, I just kept adding and adding and adding um, stuff to it. I just couldn't quit. I'll tell you, I just not could not quit. So you'll see in the flip through. I feel like my pad is drying up, but then... I'll go to ink something a little bit more, and it's, too, it's still pretty juicy, really. I have a new one all ready to go, but... All right. Now, I think I might just do these, because I like these sections. Oh, excuse me. A little burp there. I like these sections because I feel like I can write in them. You know, uh, there's a break, so I can I can date the top and then write something. I like that idea. All right. Let's see if I got. Whoops. Oh, this. All right. Hold on. Um. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so it goes that way. There. Gosh, got it all tangled up. It's still not right. It doesn't feel right. Hmm. Okay, so let me see. This part was here. Okay, there we go. That's got to be the right way. There we go. It just was like not folded the same way I had it. Either way would have worked, I'm sure. 
Okay, so now in here where this is, and this is where I wanted to have more ink. I didn't want it to look so white. I coffee dyed this uh, scrap of paper. Um, okay. I don't know. You could probably round the corners if you wanted on this a little bit, but okay. So she um, she put um, glue all in here, but I only glued it up on here on both sides and brought it down because I didn't want to get any glue in that area. See, she had glued this whole section down. I don't think it is necessary. All right, so that's that. Now, yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge to put it back, but it's not bad. And then this kind of flops up. So I don't know um, if it'd be worth it to tie around it or just once it's in the journal long enough, it will um, straighten up. I mean, really, really flatten out. Yeah, see, I mean, just even a little bit more of the... But I think it's a neat, neat idea. You put two small pockets in here. Okay, so... Whoops, I don't know where that came from. Let's see, let's put... Um, some, let's do lace right here. That kind of hides that. Um, kind of hides that, um, those corners. I don't want to get glue on that other side. It takes a little bit for this to dry, but when it dries, it's done. Okay, so now I'm thinking I want to put a little something here. Let's see, what do I have? Hmm. No, nope, the wrong color. Um, let me see if I have a flower. Oops. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. I just, I have a whole bunch and, um, oh, there it is. Because I had them out a little earlier. All right, so this is the blue. works. Um, kind of want the majority of it to show. Now this is on my sticker paper. So that should be clear. It doesn't really go. I like that one. I like that That's on vellum. So I don't think I want that on there. I mean, there's a lot of things that would match with it, but I mean. Is it when you want something blue there's nothing blue oh, shoot. I don't know I like 
this best. Oh, and that's, is that a sticker? Oh, yeah. Barely fits on there. Hmm. It's just no fun when everything doesn't I could just do something like that and put a label up there. I had some birds, uh, sticker birds that I got, but I can't find them. I put them away. They're probably in the bird little box. Uh oh, isn't that an adorable? Cute. This is where I take up all my time. I would really like something long and skinny. That one is, um, you know what, I could um, check my die cuts. But I don't know what colors I have. All right, I'm not gonna check die cuts because I'll never get done with this video. Oh, the scissors don't cut, I forgot. I'll put a piece of glue there. All right, let's see if we can't. Okay, I'm gonna try to trim around this a little bit on this side so it will fit on the paper. I think I'll just cut that leaf away entirely. Okay. So let's see if we can get this sticker off. I'm going to just set that on there. This is just sticky washi tape. And I've just burnish it onto that and it might not hold. Normally I use like packing tape. Come on, nope. Sometimes, there it goes. Come on, okay. So if you can get the backing to stick on a piece of tape, then you can get them off. I think it depends on what stickers you use, what company they come from. Okay, and I put that down there because I'm just going to put a label up at the top. Where are they? I have such a mess. <laughs> I don't want to put it away. All right, let's see. All right, so this is going to be stuck back in here. So I'm thinking... Yeah, let's just 
do it like that. I think that label works fine. To pick. No, I just like that one. It's works fine. Crooked. Okay. These music notes don't show very well how they go. All right. Oh, is that straight? No. My goodness. Yeah, I think that's better. I hope. All right, so you could decorate in here, like I said. You could put, or you can actually do something on the back. You can put little pockets there. Um, yeah, anything like that. So I feel like <clears throat> this will then fit in our uh, pocket like this that I'm going to put in here, like that. Because I like that little, um, that color with that. Okay, so let's see, I still have a little time. So let me, hopefully you got all that. Um, if not, you can run over to Tanya's channel. It's folded, folded something. I don't remember. Does that look funny against that? Because see, that's more yellowed than this. Hmm. All right. So what I'm thinking is. I want to take this and I want it to show, I want the bird to be showing on there, but I don't want all this. But I kind of like this to have it up at the top of this. Okay, so let me see, is this my good ink pen? I mean, my water. I think so. All right. So I'm just going to kind of go around this like this. I guess I should bring it down with it. Okay. So that's going to set on there like that and then I want to keep this part up here also gosh I love this napkin I don't have another one this is okay I'm just gonna go all the way out to here this is from uh, reflections by die I don't know if she has any left in her store or for sure but it's just so darn pretty. All right, so there. Because I don't want to cover that word up, really. So let's get this little part, the limited edition part. Actually, I can go over with this. That's what I'll do. Let's see, we got to be up. The bird's got to sit up here. Alrighty. So, if I can get this laid down without, it's kind of hard to know where the glue ends and begins. So, I'm going to go right out here. The glue stick's almost empty. Okay. Make sure the bird is.
See, I was thinking this book page will show right through that, which will look kind of cool. All right, now bring this up. Let's see, I'm wondering if I can cut um, that off. Oh, that's right in the scoop of it. This might not work, but you know, give it a try. Where's my little embroidery? My board. Anyway. Oh, this doesn't have very much. go to the store, I'm going to have to get me a, some new ones. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to just set this back down here, I think. Oops, let me see, where did that go exactly? Right there. Okay. So let's open that. And I'm going to glue from there down to that line there. Just see if I can. I don't want to glue <laughs> the page down. Maybe I can get it down there before it sticks. That'll dry. I don't have to worry about it then. Okay, so actually, this might be able to go right back over this. I'm not going to be able to fold this down until I get done completely. I, I like that. I don't know why glue has to be shiny. I know that this is going to leave a shiny spot right there. Let's see if I can... Um, what did I do with that when I buy one? Hmm. My daughter, um, she was here, and she said, do you have anything that takes, you know, stickers off? And I said, well, I've glue be gone and all that junk. So um, I said, what do you need to take a sticker off of? Well, she has a raincoat, and she went to some event or whatever, and you know how they put the, pot, the name tags on you, the sticky ones? They put it on her coat. And it left that sticky residue and she couldn't get it off. So that didn't work. The uh, Gooby Gone did not work. So I told her, I said, just, um, um, let's see if I, uh, I don't like to glue this part down. Um, just, I mean, if it's already got that sticky mess on it and you can't get it off, then just put some peanut butter 
on it and scrub it in and then wash your wash your jacket and see if it comes out because you know I used to get stuff out of my stuff with peanut butter if my kids were little they get gum in their hair I don't think kids do that anymore I don't think kids really chew gum anymore do they I don't know I've never seen my well maybe bubble gum okay I guess I got that Oh, I see what I did. Duh. Well, that doesn't matter. That's got to be closed anyway. All right. I'm going to let it dry. Um, all right, you guys. So, you know, that's pretty much it. I might put something over here, a label or something. But I think that turned out really cute. And I think it's going to look good. Um the background is going to look nice there. Of course, we're going to have to put that little thing in there. Let's see. Oh, that's the mistake. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. So we put one something up here and then maybe something down there too. All righty. So I guess that's it. Um, I will... Um, See you in the next video. That will be my, oh, my hands are a mess. I've been playing all day. I've been gluing and gluing and staining and inking and um, all that stuff. So I think this is going to turn out cute. I still have to do the front cover. See, it's got a little puffiness, but I think I'm going to tie it closed. Um, but I think it's going to be, it's going to, turn out kind of cute and I like this that I was able to use that leftover page and uh, I gotta put something here oh my gosh I have to put something all kinds of things I don't let me check something oh that pocket does look good on that too because I was well there's paper there I was just thinking that that other side um, Why do I have the other newspaper print? Oh, I guess it wasn't next to it. This print. I don't know. Oh, it was next. Yes, it is next to that. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Now I don't even know if I like this background. I might darken it up with some, somehow. I could put some stain over it, actually, like some of that stain I have. It's kind of like Patty Pocket stain, but it's not hers because I haven't bought any yet from her. Alrighty, guys, so I'm going to let you go then. I'll just keep, you know, talking. Um, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.